In this game, I'm going to represent the mother. And of course, this game is called Mother May I. Now, how you play is everybody that wants to play lines up and start in a horizontal line and faces mom and waits for mom to give them a command, such as Jeff. Take 10 scissor steps. Now, Jeff's going to show you how to do scissor steps. Basically, you just cross your legs so that your legs look like a pair of scissors as you move forward. Now, before Jeff can do what mom asked him to do, he has to remember to say, Mother, may I? So if he uses his manners and says, Mother, may I? Then mom says, Yes, you may. Meaning Jeff can perform the action. But if Jeff forgets to use his manners, mom says, You didn't say, Mother, may I? Now in that case, poor Jeff has to go back to start. Now how do you win this game, you might ask? Well, you win the game by being the first player to reach and touch mom. If you are that player, then you get to be the mother figure in the next game. Now there's many commands that you can use while playing the game, and I suggest you be creative. Here's just a few examples. But wait, there are six commands here and only five players. Oh my gosh, we must have a mystery player. Stay tuned to find out who that is. Okay, let's look at the commands. A giant step is when you take a big step forward. But you might be asked by mom to take a baby step, which is just a tiny little step. Or perhaps you'll be asked by mom to do a bunny hop where you can act like a bunny and hop forward. Or perhaps mom will ask you to do a flying leap where you can leap forward. Or maybe, as dad's going to show you, she'll ask you to do a frog jump which you can squat and leap like a frog. Anyway, manners, patience, sharing, concentration are all things that you can learn by playing this game. Now, oh wait, here comes our mystery guest. And of course, it's the teenager, doesn't want to play the game, but wants to make an entrance, show off and do her part with. Now remember, kids like to play video games, they don't like to get out and do things outdoors anymore. They're not like we were growing up where all these things didn't exist. We expect them just to be princesses on their own accord. But instead, they make a clown out of us. They don't become this good little girl that we want them to be, or good little boy. We have to help with that success. We have to return to the basics. This world is confusing enough for our youngsters. So help them out. Teach them games like this so that they can be successful at life.